Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I have a design to code for you guys. We're going to be making a website for a movie streaming platform. The website's going to be responsive, it's going to look nice, and it's going to get users to sign up for the streaming service. So we're going to have some call to actions in there. We're going to highlight some of the new 4K movies and some of the main features of the streaming service. Project files are down in the description, so make sure you download that. And let's go ahead and head into Adobe XD and get started. So here is the project file. On the left, we have our colors. We're using a blue color, a green, and then we have a bluish black, and then we have a gradient, which is the mixture of the blue and the green. Then we have our font, which is Source Sans Pro, and we have several different character styles of that that we're gonna be using. Here is our artboard. I'm gonna select that. We have a 1920 by 1080 artboard with the view height currently at 1080. For the grid, we're going to be using the standard 12 column layout. First, I'm going to select my artboard and I'm going to apply this gradient fill. Then I'm going to select the fill and that's going to show my handles. That way I can adjust it. And I'm going to put the blue over here in the corner. And then I'm going to drag this swatch down here like so. So we have a nice gradient effect. And I'm actually going to lower this down a ways and raise this one up over this way. That looks pretty good. So for the navigation, I'm just going to create a fake logo and it's just gonna say movies, period. The font I'm gonna use on this is the 25 bold. And I'm looking at the different spacings. You'll see this one has a character spacing of zero. This one has 100, so that's what we're gonna be using here. And I'm actually gonna make this all capital. So movies, period. I'm gonna line this on this column right here and then 50 from the top. So I'm holding alt to see all of my measurements. So I'm gonna go up to 50. Then on the right side, we're gonna keep our navigation nice, simple, and clean. So here we're going to have the user sign up or log in. Slash log in. And I'm gonna put a space in between each one of these and the slash. This is gonna be set to regular 20 point font with zero character spacing. Then I'm gonna align that to the right and on this column here. And then I'm gonna zoom out and align that with our logo. I'm gonna hold Alt and duplicate that and put 50 spacing in between that and the original copy. And then we're gonna create pricing. And then do that one more time and create features. So that's our simple navigation done. Next, what we're gonna to need to do is create our heading text. So I'm just going to paste a bit in. I'm gonna align the text to the left. And then over here, I'm going to look for 50 bold. And then we'll change this from a point text to a area text. And we'll just drag this in a bit. I'm gonna put this about 260 from the top of the overall artboard. And then I'll just drag this down and just make it look good. That'll work. Below this, we're gonna have a button. So I'm just gonna create a rectangle that stretches from this column to the edge of this one. And I'll set that to 75 pixels high. Remove the border, fill can stay white. And let's apply a border radius of five to each corner. I'm gonna place this 45 below our heading text. I'm going to select my artboard and turn off my layout grid so I can see to create the text for this button. So we're going to create a gradient text. So first, let's just say, try it free. And I'll change that to black so you can see it. I'm going to center align this and then select both and vertically and horizontally center them inside that button. I'm going to start off by setting this to 25 and changing it to bold. Then we'll need to realign that. So I'm going to create a gradient on this button. So I'm going to hit Command-C, Command-V to copy and paste that. Select the gradient. And then we'll just realign these like this. So we have a nice gradient like that. And I'm going to hit Command-Left-Square-Bracket key to send it behind our text. Then I'm going to select the text and then hold shift and select the button with the gradient. 
And then go over here and select this icon right here, which is intersect. And you'll see that that creates the gradient on that text. Then with that selected, I'm gonna hold shift and grab the white button and then just make sure this is perfectly centered inside it. And so we have our button. And then we can just turn on our grid. Then we're gonna have two bits of data down here that's talking about some features of the website. So I'll just paste in some text. I'm gonna align this one to the left and this is gonna be regular 20 size font. We'll change this to a text area. And this is gonna be three columns wide. So we'll line this on the left column and then shrink it down to three columns and then drag this down until we can see the full text. And then I'm gonna highlight a little bit of this. So I'm going to double click and then highlight no rental fees. And then I'm gonna change that from regular to bold. I'm gonna hold Alt and copy and make another one. Paste in some more text. And then I'm going to double click to edit the text and forget the theaters is going to be bold on this one as well. I'm gonna place this 30 pixels below this top one. And I'm gonna grab both of them and I'm gonna position this 180 below that button. Just like that. So if we hit the preview, this is what our website is currently looking like. So now we're ready to place an image in the background. So I'm gonna grab a rectangle and make it the full size of our artboard, which is 1920 by 1080. Remove the border, and then I'm gonna drag in my first image. So the image I'm looking for, I called Deadpool Header.png, and I'm gonna drag that in. So all this is, is just a Deadpool image, and then I've went into Photoshop and erased a bit of the bottom to make it fade out into the gradient. So with this rectangle selected, I'm gonna hit Command Shift, left square bracket key to send it all the way to the back. Let's turn off our layout grid so we can see this a little bit better. So here you'll see the gradient peeking through. So what we need to do is select background blur and check that. On the first value, I'm gonna set that to zero. For the light, I'm gonna set that to zero as well. And then 24 for the opacity. That's gonna give us this effect right here. So if I were to drag out my artboard a little bit farther, you can see that this blends into the gradient. So that's looking pretty good. Let's actually just leave this artboard around this size. So the last thing we're gonna do here is add some circles that are very, very low opacity. Just for a bit of detail, we're gonna have an iPad right here to show the streaming on any device. And then we'll work on the section down here below that. So let's add some circles. I'm gonna hold shift and drag out a circle. 170 by 170 will work fine. I'm gonna remove the border. And I'm gonna lower the opacity down to eight. I'm just gonna position these visually. And that just adds a nice little detailed touch to this. So lastly, we can drag in our iPad image. This image is fairly large. So I'm gonna to go to the height value with the lock icon activated. And I'm gonna set that to 940. And that's gonna scale it down to the size that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna place the 70 from the side of the browser. And let's go with 250 from the top. That'll put it in a good position. So that's pretty much it. The only other thing I'm gonna do is the section down here is gonna be white. So I'm gonna blend these two sections together with some circles. So I'm gonna grab my ellipse tool and hold shift for a large circle, remove the border, and I'm gonna hit command shift left square bracket key to send it all the way to the back, and then hit command right square bracket key to bring it forward one so we can't see our image. And then I'm just gonna align this. I think I'm liking that position. So I'll just grab my ellipse tool and make a few more circles. Again, removing the border. And then we'll position this one here. We'll make one here. And then we'll make a larger one over here that is not visible on this upper section. I'm pretty happy with that. So now we can just grab a rectangle and just drag that straight over and then make that completely white and remove the border. And we have a seamless transition. I'm gonna select my artboard and turn back on my layout grid to realign the next section. 
And then I'm going to grab the text tool and just type out new 4K movies. And I'll make that all caps. I'm going to select this 36 size font. And you'll notice it's got 150 character spacing. It's bold. And I'm just going to align this to this column. And then we'll just kind of visually align the spacing here from the top of this circle. Maybe down a little bit more. That's looking pretty good. So we're going to be displaying movie titles, obviously. So right here, I'm going to have a view all button. So we'll just type out view all. Let's change that to view more. And then I'll set that to bold, 100 character spacing, 20 size font, and it's our green color. To position this, I'm going to line it centered and go 50 to the right. For our movies, we're just going to be showing the image, and then we're not going to have any font or anything below that. So I'm going to grab a rectangle, and we're going to drag out three columns wide, and then I'm going to set the height to 575. That'll give us a good size for our movie posters. We can remove the border, and then so we can see it, I'll apply like a reddish fill for now. And then we can apply a shadow by checking that box, and the default shadow should do nicely. And then we'll apply a four to the border radius for some nice rounds in the corner. I'm gonna select my artboard and just drag down a ways so I have a bit of space to work with. So we're gonna need to select this white rectangle and just drag it to the bottom of the new sized artboard. So now we can repeat grid on this. So I will repeat grid. And then each one of these is 16 spacing. So to match that, we'll just scale that in. And we'll go all the way over until it touches this column. And then I'll go down to make one more. The spacing down here at the bottom, the new section will change to 30. And that's all we need. I'm going to go into my folder and select all the movies. With all my posters selected, I'm just going to drag and drop. And it will put all of my images in for me. So let's turn off the layout grid. This is what we have. That's looking really nice. So now we're going to have some text in the center below here. So I'm going to paste that in now. And then I'll make this a text area. And let's just shrink it in a little bit for now. I'm going to align the text to the center. I'm going to align this to the center of the artboard. And this is going to be our bold 50 in the dark blue. And then we'll just drag this down. And I'm going to hold Alt and Scale from the side until I only see $5.99 a month down here at the bottom. I'm going to double click to edit my text and highlight the $5.99 and change that to our green. Let's see how much spacing we have. 300. Let's change that to around 230 or so. We don't want too much spacing here. That'll work. Below this, we're going to have a button. So we'll go back up to the top, turn our layout grid on. And then I'm going to select the button text and the button, Command C. Go down here and hit Command V. I'm going to change the fill color on the button to a gradient. And then we'll adjust that. So I'll drag this swatch over. Drag the green one over like that. Around there will work. We want the fade to be very small and then for the text all we have to do is select it hit command shift g that will ungroup the intersect that we did before so now we can delete that rectangle that came with that and then we can change the text to white and i'll change this to get started with the text selected i'm gonna hold shift and select the rectangle and then make sure that's centered we can group that, Command G, and then we'll place that 30 below our text. And then I'm going to make sure that's centered to the artboard. And so that's what we're left with. I'm just going to lengthen my artboard a little bit. So I'm going to select the document and drag down to about there. We'll match our rectangle. And then we're going to apply the footer. 
So the first thing the footer is gonna have is our movie's logo. So I'm gonna hold Alt. And when I start my drag, I'm gonna hold Shift and that will keep me from moving it this way. And I'll just place that down here. And then I'll change that to my bluish black color. I brought that to the front using Command Shift, right square bracket key. And we'll position this 50 from the bottom. Then we're gonna have our copyright text. So I'll paste that in. This is going to be 20 size font. It's going to be our black blue color. And we'll change that to regular. I'm going to make sure that is centered with my text and then go 15 to the right. We can then hold alt and drag over until it touches this column. I'm going to align my text to the right. And the first thing on our footer is going to be our privacy. We'll hold Alt and copy that. We'll do 50 spacing to match the navigation we did at the top. This one's going to be terms. Next, we'll do help center. And lastly, we'll do account. We can select preview. Here's what we're going to see when we load this up. We can scroll down, see the new 4K movies, and we can view more. Here are the latest titles. And then it gives us a call to action, get started, and then we have the footer. One final thing, this gradient is looking too blue, so I'm just gonna select the fill, and let's change this green to come more up here. And something like that. That's looking a little bit more colorful. So that is the finished design. Several of you guys have asked me how I export my images from Adobe XD into my code. So I'm gonna show you that at the start of the next video, which will be part two, where we code this. And then there will probably be a part three for the responsive code added into that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're looking forward to the next part of this, make sure you give this a thumbs up, subscribe for more ER related content. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.